What's up, DC Nation? Welcome back to another video. And guys, if you like the video, give a big thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. So I'll be these cows content every day that you don't want to miss. Now, guys, this video is up a little late. Like, I just did my flash reaction. You gotta check that out. Now, I top right corner right here. But, Black Lightning. I usually don't do reactions or reviews to this. But, the latest episode was dope, alright? It was awesome. Like, look at the actions pieces, uh, Wayne Brady, you had Tobias, it was just a really awesome episode. And I feel like the show is very underrated. Like, I've been watching season 3, like, I watched, like, the first few episodes of season 3, and then skipped a couple of the episodes and got back into it after Crisis, because there's just so many shows I was watching, I was like, oh, I could put Black Lightning on, like, the back burner. It's not that much people are watching it, so, like, whatever. But then I started watching like the post crisis episode with like Khalil. You see like Tobias. You see like, um, yeah, you go into Khalil's mind. That was like the last episode. You see like Lynn getting in trouble. She's like a drug addict. You see the whole thing of Markovia. And I was like, man, this is actually a really great show. And I was like, all right, I'll watch this new episode. Like, I heard the way Brady was coming. But I didn't know you'd come in this episode. Because the next episode is titled The Book of War. So it's like a new storyline in a way. So this one, I just felt like, okay, they'll go on the rescue mission and the episode end will be like the introduction of Wayne Brady. But how much Wayne Brady we got in this episode was awesome, right? His character himself, Grave Digger. Look, I stopped the episode, I looked up online, Grave Digger. It's actually a DC Comics character. And he can like manipulate people. And guys, this character is really cool. Yes, it's a very obscure character, but if you're going to bring an obscure character or, or, or an obscure villain to the show, you gotta have a good actor. And Wayne Brady, he just delivers it. Like, he's menacing, and his fight seems like Khalil. It's really cool when, like, Khalil's awesome. I really like his character. Just is kind of being a little repetitive with the whole, oh, he dies. He's coming back evil. Oh, we can't trust him. Oh, he's now a good guy now. Oh, he dies again. But it's kind of getting a little repetitive, but at the same time, I still like his character. And I like the whole scene between him and Jefferson in this episode, where pretty much Black Light tells him, Hey, you can actually, you're fine. You're, I think you're a good guy. You don't have to run off. Um, Jennifer wants to be with you. And he's kind of saying, like, last season, he was like, Hey, Jennifer, stay away from him. But this season, he's more like, Hey, I actually accept you. You're not a bad guy. Which, that's kind of like big development in, like, the show. Khalil has really grown a lot. Even though he goes through that whole die, come back, evil face, it's still a very interesting character. And I'm excited to see what they do with him in the future. But guys, that fight scene between him and Wayne Bray, really awesome, and Wayne Bray even fights off Black Lightning, which that was good, like that was really cool, alright, I was, that was probably one of the best scenes in the episode, other than the fact, the very last scene, where you see Black Lightning, like, Grave Digger or Wayne Bray grabs Lynn, and Black Lightning's like, don't touch my wife, and she shocks him out, that was, that was legit, I like that, I hope they didn't kill off Wayne Bray though. Because he really brought this episode from like, okay, it's a stellar episode, one of the best of the season, to, wow, it's like ranking one of the best of the entire series. Like, it was an awesome episode. And guys, also, Tobias in this episode, when his confrontation with Black Lightning, like Black Lightning has to save him, it was really good. I liked it a lot. And when he's just punching him, Tobias is just laughing. It just makes you like, okay, Tobias has been around for a long time, three seasons. But I have grown tired of him. Like, compared to, like, other villains, like, let's say Ricardo Diaz from Arrow. He was, like, a solid villain in, like, Season 6, Season 7, too. But in the middle of Season 7, I was like, all right, just get rid of him. Where Tobias has been around for a long time, and I'm just not sick of him yet. I still like the character, which is good when you have a character that's been around for so long on our show, and they're still a great character. They haven't grown, like, repetitive and stuff, so that's great. And with Wayne Bray now, I'm hoping he's alive and he teams up with Tobias. That would really bring the show from like a great show to one of my favorite shows on television. Television. Yeah, guys. But guys, we also see like Anissa and, well, Thunder, Lightning. They team up with Black Lightning on this rescue mission. They go to Markovia. There's actually like a whole team. You see like this great scene between Gambi and Black Lightning. It's really well done. I really like their scenes. Like, Gambi's like that character. Like, you have Joe on The Flash who delivers those great scenes. Then there's Gambi. He's like that character on Black Lightning who delivers like some of the best scenes on the show. And guys, not to mention, one of the best scenes in this episode wasn't actually an action sequence. It was the opening scene where you see Jefferson's just like, I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna kill whoever has my wife. 
Like, we went through some hardships. He's just in, like, the room. He's, like, remembering all the times him and Glenn had. And it's, you could say, okay, it's a slow start. But no, I really liked it. Like, if you've been watching the show for a while, you're like, wow. They're really bringing this stuff together very well, and I'm happy about it. But guys, then we also see, like, you see a different characters. Like, you see the one girl, which I don't know her name. She's, like, invulnerable when she gets hit. And then there's the other guy. His name starts with, like, a T. He, like, touches some. But, like, last episode, he went to Khalil's mind, which he has some interesting stuff in this episode. He's not the greatest character yet, but I still like him. I, I like the character. But, guys, that action sequence, all right? Let's get to it. In, the, in like the end of the episode, they jump out of the plane, you see Black Lightning land on the ground, very cool, like I, I jumped down my seat at that moment, I was like, wow, this is, this is some top level stuff, alright? Like there's been awesome action sequences in the entire Arrowverse, but this ranks up there, because it's a long one. They jump out of the plane, they make it into the place, Black Lightning, Thunder, and Lightning, they're just fighting people, even um, Jennifer, she like has like a huge blast, you see Khalil versus Wade Bray, you see Black Lightning versus Wade Bray, you see different characters, it's well choreographed, like the action isn't just like, oh it's all over the place, no, it's very well done, and it shows that the show knows what it's doing. Alright? It's not just, oh, Black Lightning, I'll watch it whenever I get to it. No, guys, you should stay tuned. This is a very underrated show, and if we can get a lot of people to watch it, then May CW will keep it going. Like, yeah, CW doesn't cancel shows, but Black Lightning is one that's least watched of, like, the DC TV shows. Even least more, like, there's more people watching Batwoman than this show. Which, Batwoman, I don't like that show at all, and Black Lightning, I wish you, could, I wish you got more praise. Because they're bringing Wayne Bray in, they're bringing a lot of cool stuff in, and I don't want to stop. I don't want to be one of those shows that's come on my favorite shows and that gets canceled because it has low viewership. Like, it's such a great show. And I'm excited to see what they do in two weeks. Like, I'm a little annoyed that they're taking a week off next week, but I'm excited when it comes back with the Book of War. Like, it really feels like everything's coming together now, and it's getting to that point where, like, the conflict is re reaches, like, climax. Like, it's getting really good. And with the whole thing of like Lady Eve, Lady Eve wasn't this episode, but like in the uh, post-crisis episode, the very first episode of post-crisis, we found out that Lady Eve is alive. I'm hoping they bring her back in this season. Like, would it be awesome, like, if they have Lady Eve, Tobias, Wayne Bray, all in one episode, and maybe bring back Lala. Like, Lala was legit, guys. I really like Lala. Like, I know some people get, like, mad, like, oh, yeah, he's kind of generic, he came back from the dead and then died again, but I really like him, because he just brings, like, that menacing, like, character to the show. Like, you say other characters take that, like, Wayne Bray's character, but still, you can't replace Lala at all. Now, guys, if I were to season three so far, I'd probably go, this is actually my favorite season of Black Lightning, like, his new suit is awesome. The character development is good, the action sequences are good, the villains are good. It's just Black Lightning is like best. And then next I would rank like season one, number two. And then season two would probably be in last place. Because season two had like a really slow start. Like it took me a while to get back into Black Lightning. But once it got going, like midway through season two, it was really good. Well, season three is pretty much like that second half of season two, but throughout the whole of the season. So it's a real treat to be watching the show. And overall, I'm going to give this episode a 9.3 out of 10. Awesome show. Definitely recommend it. And guys, go check it out. But guys, in the comment section below, tell me what you think about Wayne Bray on the show. What you think about the show itself. And do you think that more people should be watching? Like, I think so. But do you? But guys, if you like the video, give a big thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. So that will be great content every day that you don't want this. Alright guys, that's the video. Peace out. Like I said, you talk too much.